nice. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the CRF we are kitted out today. My plan was ooh, to basically set it up as if I was going on my camping trips because I want to do something, pop over to Wales do Snowdonia and camp out with this bad boy. But the only thing I haven't got is the tent, which would literally, where that bungee cord is, strap on top of the, the waterproof bag. Um, I think I'm about to get hit, actually. Um, they are actually very, 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 very close to me right now. I just filled up. We're gonna go through some of the trails. This isn't actually fitted on properly, it's just strapped on. Um, but it's got a, these are all magnetic bits. Um, and I didn't want to strap it here. I didn't have a strap anyway, but I didn't want to strap it here because then I couldn't get to my fuel tap. Cap, tap, fap. Right, anyway, before I get run over by this person, let's get the fuck out of here. So yeah, I'm gonna head towards Cheddar Way, but I ain't going to Cheddar. I just want to have a look at some of the lanes they can offer. Obviously, stock exhaust. Carry on from yesterday where I was chasing that sunset gonna be quite windy because I got the motocross helmet on but I want to see if this bag can hold up uh, I've filled them all to the top so they got all sorts of things I just chucked a sausage roll in there as well you know as you do um, yeah in all fairness with it all feel, fully kitted out my tent's not heavy um, it really doesn't make that much of a difference um, and I still have room to say, you know, if Sasha wanted to go on the back, she can get on behind me as well. I've got my backpack on as well. So, you know, literally I've all kitted out as if I was going to go on a trip just to see what it's like. And I go through some green lanes, byways and that, just to see if everything can, uh, can hold up to it. So that's the plan for today. Stick around, stay tuned. And let's go find some trails. Hey, yo! Do you know what I wish? I wish I'd bought one of these sooner. I really do. Because at the point I'm at now, I I can't have two bikes. And obviously, you got the KTM and the, the I've got the CRF and a car. Um, and as I've said in previous videos, I want to get rid of the the car and this, get a van, and then get rid of KTM and get um, probably you know a TPI or something. But I wish I had this sooner. I wish I had this sooner so I can have it and, and enjoy it more. Because oh yeah, I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I do. I fucking love the fucking thing. I mean, I bought it at, what was it? Like 7,000 miles, something like that. Um, so I've done almost 4,000 miles on it already now. And it doesn't feel like I've had it long. It feels like, it's, well, well, I don't know when I bought it. It must have been, oh, we're October now. It must have been July. So, Let's say July, August, September, I'll take four months and I've done that many miles already. <laughs> I just use it for everything. You can, you know, you can take it on the bigger trips because it will do the miles. Um, you can take it on the byways. You can take it on the daily commute to work. It's just everything, everything you want. It's reliable, it's easy to tinker on, and just great bikes. It very, 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 very much reminds me of um, riding with Tom's little WR250, which she's put loads of Ks on now. Um, obviously, they are, you know, both the same in the market. His is a bit, in my opinion, more, more better for the off-road. Mine is actually, in all fairness, I, I would say his is better, a better all-rounder. But the price over here in the UK is just ridiculous for those. I mean, Mackie's got uh, the X and um, it's stunted it all out and things and it's, it's a lot faster than this by miles but um, yeah his costs a lot more than I paid for this thing so that's why the 300 is doing so well I believe it's just that it was that step up that they needed 2,000 years later well I'm comfortable that's for sure it's not like pushing up against me or anything like that so yeah just easy do a Euro trip on this bad boy all day, every day. It's weird, right? I am gonna do a review before I sell this thing, but um, the very like for the first two trips I ever did on it. Obviously, the very first one was all the way back from 
I'm by Birmingham where I bought it. I think it was Birmingham. Um, I think it's even further than that. Um, either way, it was a long old fucking trip. And there was two trips. I could, I thought, bloody hell, this seat is uncomfortable. It was horrible. By God, you get used to it. After, after It's like two or three trips and then you're used to it and then it doesn't hurt anymore. And I could sit on this all day, every day now. Be a months and months and months and it would never hurt. It's really weird. And I'm not the only one that's ever said that. I know a few people have said that. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure um, Itchy Boots said exactly the same thing. She could get used to the seat and then after a while she just got used to it. Really weird. All right, ta. Let's have a look down this lane, shall we? Just, are they are they walking in the road like three abreast in the road? They are indeed. That's uh. I've never been, I rode down on the KTM down here once, but I didn't get all the way to the end, so I want to see what's kind of down here. And what is the point of being down here? Like, it's just letters on a walk. It's just, <laughs> I don't know what's down here. There's got to be something down here. Ah, this is where I peed. I was dying for a wee and I went wee in there. And I weed on my shoe. And then I turned around there, so yeah. From this point on, I don't know what is on this way. But we're gonna find out. You're using a lot of the lane. You little fucking turd bag. Woohoo! What have I found? What is this? Weak bridge. Ooh! Seemed like a strong enough bridge to me. Oh, I was setting up the uh, the session today. I thought, you know, I'll have another camera as well. Uh, and I broke it. So, yeah. I'll probably super glue it or something. I broke the actual, you know, the little two stemmy bits that actually connect to the GoPro. I hate the GoPro anyway, the fucking session. What was that? I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, that was. Don't mind me, just using your house. What is that? Whoa. It's cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Kinda wanna go have a look what it is. I also don't wanna go trespassing on someone's field. I'm gonna leave it. Where the fuck am I? No idea. One eternity later. I've got no fucking idea where I am. I back got plenty of fuel. Not all the time in the world. Public bridal way. I don't want a bridal way. I want a byway. Come on, man. Nah. Uh. Do I recognise anything at all? Absolute anything. I've got absolutely... Yes. I noticed that. I recognise that. Bag is on there. This is fine. <laughs> and I want my sausage roll. Mm. So we stopped off. We, me, not you, just me. Uh, ugh, eat that sausage roll. Oh, and I feel better now. And now I'm going to get stuck behind this tractor. But I'm going to try and find... I want to go find the trails because all I've been doing at the moment is um, going down the same kind of trails, which is fine to get used to them. And I've, I've progressed quite, quite quickly that way. Um, but... It's just a bit boring, if that makes sense. I want to find some new ones and uh, gain experience that way. Uh. <laughs> I 
Um, right, it's going now. I'm not sure what happened there. The GoPro just turned off. Just stopped recording. Keep an eye on it for a second. It might have corrupted a file or something. I don't know. Oh, I haven't done my bag yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh dear. I want to catch up with those guys. With the big boy bikes. Mm. You know what? That sausage sandwich was fucking hey. <laughs> it's like £1.25 or something cheap. Mm. It was good. Nice. I want to get some wheelie practice in as well. But what? I've, I've, because I put. I should never. I. Yeah. Nah. I put that, you know, the tail type, the not tail date, the, the original OEM tail on um, because it's it's better um, than the tail tidy it had. But if I want to do wheelies, I want to kind of put that one back on, but because I spliced all the wires, oh, I got to do it all over again and solder it all back on, and I just can't be fucked. <laughs> but if I loop it, I'd rather smash the shitty tail tidy than, you know, the OEM tail. Bam! <laughs> Oh, it's about the clock over 11,000 miles. Any second now. I want to see it do it though. Obviously, this bike hasn't actually done 11,000 miles because pretty much all of its life it's been geared completely differently and never fixed. So, it's more like probably 8,000 miles, but hey ho. Hey, 11,000 miles! Chee! Ah! Oh, it's the new 1050. Where is it? The, the new one? It's the new shape. Uh, you got it from Fowler's. Uh, the score stem. I like it though. I do like it. I do like it quite a lot. I've always liked the 1050 motor as well, so yeah, glad it's like that. He's got the arrow can on it as well. I'm gonna go pick up the slash gift for weather spin for Brecky, which isn't Brecky anymore because it's one o'clock. All day breakfast with some chips. Mm. Yeah, yes please. I was gonna clean this thing today. How am I gonna have time? Because I haven't actually cleaned it properly. I'll blast it off all the dirt every when I go riding, but I've not actually given it a proper clue clean since I bought the bloody thing. So <laughs> uh, it's it's way overdue. I don't know if I could be arsed though. <laughs> Fuck. Cheers, sugar tits. 